what is the integrative oncology and what is the difference between conventional and integrative oncology. We know that conventional treatment of the cancer, uh, we use the way to remove the cancer in the beginning, in the first place. So uh, it is the surgery, it is the radiation, and it is the chemotherapy. Talking about the integrative oncology, we try to look into a broader uh, way and a broader uh, paradigm that how the cancer starts and how the cancer survive, how the cancer uh, grow and expand. So uh, we know for sure that uh, all the cancer it's happened in our cells, in our normal cells and become the cancer cell. And it is like the surviving mechanism. The cancer try to survive the very hostile environment in the cells. Cancer is kind of the surviving mechanism. So uh, if we try focus only on treating the cancer, but the same environment, the same mechanism that causing the cancer, eventually you end up with uh, the cancer suppressed for just a very short period of time. But eventually it's come back very fast, like one year and maximum five years and then it, it come back. Indicative uh, cancer approach try to look into this also. And we mainly focus on the, um, the real cause of the cancer. And now, indicative doctor, indicative oncologist believe that the cancer uh, happened of the two factors, the physical factor and emotional factor. And for the body treatment, we need to focus on eliminate the uh, pathogen, eliminate the virus, eliminate the uh, bacteria and uh, silent parasites that may be stay in our body and causing the cancer. And also try to convert the acidity in the cells and also the toxin in the cell. So we focus mainly on detoxification as well. And then uh, uh, integrative oncologists uh, looking into the way how to control the fast-growing condition. And mostly of the fast-growing condition, this is because they are lacking of energy. So they uh, try to expand more to get the energy, try to evade the normal cell, to get the nitrogen supply, to get the energy supply, and still, still every uh, energy possible, and also suppress the immune system. So indicative oncology will focus on detoxification, you focus on the um, natural way and non-toxic way to remove the cancer cell. And uh, uh, all kind of uh, mechanism that cancer can grow, we try to inhibit those mechanisms. And when the cancer eat sugar, for example, we try to make uh, some molecule that is similar to sugar when uh, the uh, cancer cell eat it, it becomes toxic. It becomes toxin to the cancer cell. And for example, like vitamin C, which is uh, the molecule is similar to glucose. And inside the cell, it becomes toxic to cancer cell. So high dose of vitamin C by using this uh, can, uh, can help in the uh, integrative, uh, non-toxic cancer way. This kind of the treatment is the very focused and very really non-toxic and using the natural product. Indicative oncology also focus on emotional uh, treatment. So uh, basically, uh, every single cancer patient, they have some stress and some emotional conflict. When you have stress, when you have uh, emotional imbalance, when you have conflict, it will be dampen the immune system. We become weaker and weaker and weaker and become to the point that the cancer can escape the immunity and develop themselves. So if we would like to increase the immune system, it's not only the checkpoint inhibitor, it's about the uh, bring the balance to the immune system through the yoga, through the meditations, through the emotional release treatment, through the all kind of psychological support, and through the whole family, because the emotional conflict comes from family also. So we need to treat every, every uh, paradigm, and this is the way that integrative uh, oncology approach. 
will ensure the success of uh, or at least the, um, the maximum benefit and indicative because uh, looking into all uh, paradigm of the therapy working together in the same time.